A financial nightmare is over for a Pinellas County woman now that St. Petersburg police busted a family theft ring. Detectives believe a mother and her daughter stole the identities of at least 18 people and the victim count is likely to go higher. Now the pair and a third person are accused of running up thousands of dollars in debt for all kinds of purchases. Peter Bernard is live in St. Petersburg tonight and Peter this case took what a year to crack? Right, Josh, it took that long for investigators to gather all the information they needed on this case. Tonight, two of the three people involved in the scheme are facing justice. A third is on the run. I'm 74, and this put my whole life at a standstill. Music teacher Eileen Mattioli is constantly hounded by creditors wanting to know if she plans to pay, all because police believe these three stole her identity. I tried to open women's accounts and like Victoria's Secret, and they got into bank accounts and put them in my name, but the IRS was the worst. Police tell me Denise Dallas headed up the scheme, stealing credit card information from her employer to pay for utilities and cable TV at the house she shares with her daughter, Jessica. Well, we found where 18 different credit card numbers were used to either pay or attempt to pay the monthly water bill since November. And it led us to discovering where the information was compromised from. Sergeant Smith tells me they even used a stolen card to buy food for Jessica's boyfriend, an inmate at the Pinellas County Jail. Also accused is Chantel Jones. Police believe she opened a Fifth Third bank account in other people's names, then rented furniture and went on a spending spree at CVS, Wawa, and Winn Dixie. It's been a horrible life experience. Eileen Mattioli is still trying to recover from Joan's escapade using her good name. She has a message for her tormentors and others contemplating ID theft. I would say don't do this again to anybody because your life is going to be in jeopardy with the jailhouse. St. Petersburg police want to find Denise Dallas. The detective tells me she knows she is wanted. He hopes she turns herself in. Josh. All right, Peter Bernard, live for us in St. Petersburg. Peter, thanks.